What's up everybody, this is Stevie Browning with Mountain Dreams Media. The Logan Wildcats suffered their first loss on the season this past week to Winfield. Stick around to see what Coach Gary Mullins and some of the players have to say about it right after a word from our sponsor. Accidents, illness, heart attacks, strokes. When an emergency strikes, count on Logan Regional Medical Center. We're here providing emergency care 24-7, including the higher levels of emergency heart care found in our accredited chest pain center and our enhanced cleaning, mask requirements, and social distancing to help keep you safe. Emergency care at Logan Regional Medical Center. When minutes matter, count on us. Coach Mullins, appreciate you coming. Um, first tough loss against Winfield. What's your thoughts after the game? Uh, I feel like we just didn't play good enough to win. We know they're a great football team. And uh, defensively, uh, we didn't make some one-on-one -on -one tackles that we normally make. And we didn't block well up front. And we didn't block well at run running back. And uh, we're going to be working those, on those things all week. we got to do a better job protecting and uh, get motivated because we're playing a much better Nitro team on Friday night. You saw a lot of pressure on Koger. Um, how do you play? Because you got to expect uh, everybody to kind of start bringing a house at him like Winfield did. How do you how do you expect to combat that? Uh, we just have to pick up the blitz better and, and get, have better feet. We were picking it up. There wasn't very many free runners at him. Uh, we were just getting beat after the point of attack. I mean, the point of contact. Uh, so our feet was kind of dying. And then we had, I think, three or four holding penalties that put us behind the sticks and, and got us to where we couldn't run the ball like, like we were wanting to. And uh, we got to clean those things up and uh, know that it's going to be coming. We knew it was coming Friday night too, but we just got to do a better job with our feet. Now, who do you get back this week that you didn't have this past week? I know you said you, you were missing a couple defensively. Uh, you know, we didn't have Roberts last week. Uh, No's been limited, limited, and we've been trying to move him on and, and along. And then, you know, we're not sure what's going on with Shelton yet as, as far as this week. So we're hoping that we're the healthiest we've been in a while. And uh, we had a really good practice today as far as locked in, a good mental practice anyway, you know, talking and – Making sure they see on film what we got to improve, and we're looking forward to seeing what happens on Friday night. What's your message to them this week about getting back on track? Well, we said before last week's game that we thought the Nitro game was the most important game of the year. That if you win against Winfield, everybody's going to tell you how great you are, and and that uh, you know you're going to steamroll Nitro and and all those kind of things. And and if you lose to Winfield, now you got to bounce back. So so we knew what this game was coming, one way or another. It was going to present. Uh, some challenges for us, and we just got to make sure we're mentally tough and, and we're ready to be out there Friday night, and I think we will be. Well, I appreciate you, Coach. Good right. luck. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Aiden Slack, appreciate you coming on. Mm -hmm. You know, in the Winfield game, they were doubling you pretty much the whole game, and if, if they weren't doubling you, they were shading you. Mm -hmm. um, you got to think you're going to face a lot more of that. How are you going to adjust to it? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, uh, I've seen it some last year. Uh, I feel like I'm going to see it more this year, but, uh, you know, I just got to keep playing through it, uh, find ways to get open, find open spots in the defense, and I think we'll be fine. Do you think, you know, playing defense every play and, and the way that Winfield plays is smash mouth, they come at you every play. Yeah. Do you think playing defense and offense had a, had, took a toll on a lot of you guys? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'd say it did. Uh, I know I was tired some. Uh, I'm sure other guys were too. Uh, it takes a beating on you, but you know, high school football these days, you, you just got to tough it out and uh, tough it out and go, just go. So as one of the leaders on the team, what do you have? What, what are you doing this week to, to keep your guys locked in and, and make sure y'all's ready for Nitro? Uh, you know, uh, we can't hang our heads about that one. Uh, Winfield's a good team. They're, I'd say they're probably the best team in the conference. Uh, just to me, uh, doesn't mean we can't beat them, um, you know. But uh, you know, we just can't we can't uh, hang our heads about last week and just move on uh, to this week. This is the biggest game of the year for us right now. So uh, uh, looking to get a win this week and 
Here we go. I appreciate you, yep. sir. Jackson Koga, appreciate you coming on. Um, in the Winfield game, you saw a lot of pressure. Um, how did that affect you back there? Uh, I mean, it's definitely tough, but I'm still proud of our guys. And I still trust them. Just got to find a way to make a play sometimes. So playing both sides of the ball, you think that took a little bit out of you? Yeah, and I kind of think that's Winfield's game plan, just bang it in there and try to wear you down. And, I mean, they executed really well. So you should expect to see a lot of pressure here on out. How are you How are you planning on handling it? I mean, there's definitely ways around it, and we plan on putting some stuff in, but at the end of the day, it's just about you got to make that special play sometimes. And that makes the Nitro game a big one now. Um, because after that, you you head into a tough part of the season. Talk about how big this one is. I mean, definitely in high school football, every game's important because there's no sectionals or regionals. So you got to take it one week at a time and make sure all your focus is on this game. Appreciate you, sir. All right. Accidents, illness, heart attacks, strokes. When an emergency strikes, count on Logan Regional Medical Center. We're here providing emergency care 24-7, including the higher levels of emergency heart care found in our accredited chest pain center and our enhanced cleaning, mask requirements, and social distancing to help keep you safe. Emergency care at Logan Regional Medical Center. When minutes matter, count on us.